Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel, and today we are reviewing King Spawn number 9. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made and uploaded any content, but uh, work has been killing me. The retail life, you know? Anyways, let's get on into this. Uh, so, start off by this being talking about how beautiful this cover is. It's freaking gorgeous. Look at the next one. Oh man, that's so awesome. Anyways, so... So, as always, we get into the story. So, previously, Spawn was invited to go meet with Gaia in the green. So, he travels in there, and uh, he starts... He First, he runs into the uh, the golem, Mr. Big Boy himself. Well, he's losing his power. It's being drained the further he goes into the green. So, uh, they start the fight. He actually tries to, like, straight up, like... Uh, let's see... Bria right here breathed like some straight up you know his, his hell sauce you know his uh his his saucy sauce now the uh the ectoplasm and uh well then he meets the oracle straight up prepares to choke slam her says look i'm the undertaker and you are now my Rey mysterio <laughs> anyway so um after he blast a hole you know straight up dragon ball z super dragon fist through this guy um, he meets with the Oracle. He demands to, you know, to meet with Gaia. He wants to know why Gaia, you know, invited him over. He was going to keep getting attacked. Well, uh, she says, I'm here and we're about to get to this beautiful, beautiful freaking panel. So she, um, you know, starts talking to him and we get this page. Like, holy crap. Like, look at this, dude. Javier Fernandez is such a phenomenal artist. Oh my god, I can't even begin, dude. It's so good. It's so good. It's so beautiful. Well, you know, uh, it goes on and it shows that, you know, the previous time that he's been here, um, and pretty much talking about how if he takes the throne, he can get the loved one that he wants back. So, obviously, in issue 75, you know, he goes there and gets his power stripped for the period that he is actually there. Uh, if you I recommend reading, getting the first two compendiums. The compendiums can have the first 100 issues. Compendium 1, 1 through 50. Compendium 2, 51 through 100. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so they are trying to talk him into taking the throne, pretty much. Well, Simon, from previous issues, you remember him? He was a little kid that Kincaid was trying to, you know, take his soul. Uh, blast him straight up, get Suga Tensho style from Bleach. Um, and Al says, uh, I don't like that, and it hits him with Kiwi from Dragon Ball. He says, I'm the superior anime protagonist, you fool. Well, <laughs> anyways, uh, so Simon tells him, you know, he probably should have either, A, you know, left me be, or, like, let Kincaid take me. Because obviously, he couldn't kill him, because he was already dead, and, you know, the dead zones are close. So, obviously, the Oracles take him, trying to turn him into Kingslayer, and, you know, Spawn is King Spawn, so... We get, we get a little further. They continue the little fight. Uh, Spawn gets cut. He's like, blood? Blood? Well, um, he tries to tell Simon that, you know, they're using him. Um, and then, you know, he stands, he was like talking to Gaia saying, hey, if I had my powers back, I blah, blah, blah. Well, Gaia's like, didn't do what? And he immediately blasts both the Oracle and the Golem. Says 99 fools. Well, and there he tells Simon to run away and he'll come back for him. He's going to deal with, you know, this first. Well, let's see. Gaia, like, freezes him and says, no, you don't whisper to these souls. I whisper to these souls. These are my souls. And uh, shows him Wanda. And uh, as, uh, as you know, Azrael, who you met in the previous issue, actually brought Wanda here, and so technically Wanda is his soul, um, and so he, she's like, you take the throne, or I let your, your wife go to dust, and then we get to the final page, obviously, you know, he gets the resemblance here, and he, he's, and that's the end of the issue, so pretty much he has the, the choice now, does he become King Spawn, or does he let his wife's soul just turn to ash in the green uh, those are hit the ultimatum so here we go first off uh the artwork we all know javier fernandez is one of my favorite artists and 
Oh, God. Like, I can't get over how good. Obviously, Sean Lewis is one of my favorite writers going on right now. Uh, King Spawn, like always, to let y'all know, uh, is my favorite book on the market. You know, for $3 a month, I highly recommend it. But there, again, and I will buy it, and I will show it off to y'all if y'all don't get it. But I will be getting the King Spawn Volume 1 trade paperback. I will show it off on the channel. Anyways, so... With uh, this issue, you know, you, you get a lot going on. There's a lot of, you know, story that actually happens throughout the issue. And it's just, it's a real solid issue. I give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 is my final rating. Now, if I had to give y'all a prediction of what I think is going to happen next. So, I, I just can't see Spawn sitting on the throne of hell just to bring her back he's going to try to figure out a different way to go about it he'll probably try to fight Gaia I don't think that'll end well and he'll try to escape and get out of the green and try to figure out a different way to get her back by going to Black Azrael I think he'll try to cut a deal with him before he cuts a deal with Gaia becoming you know the king of hell I just don't think he wants that and if not he'll try to kill Azrael just straight murk him and I think that's where this story arc is going is pretty much just going to be him versus a the green or B or him versus Black Azrael although I feel like Azrael is a final boss type of deal for like you know like three or four arcs from now but we'll see anyways nine out of ten uh good issue you pick it up three dollars support your local comic book shops and if y'all are wondering what my next video is going to be I'm a, it's kind of a toss-up I think I want to either do the next Batman Arkham video or I want to do my next spotlight video spotlighting the Donny Cates Hulk run, the first six issues since that first storyline is over with. It's so good. Oh my God, I love it. Anyways, uh, I'll catch y'all next time and I hope y'all enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. We're still on the road to 50. Anyways, catch y'all later.